this case. Now, it's possible that Hamlet has had something that they can let, that you can learn from this case. And the second question that I have, I completely agree with you that we underestimate, as a community, we underestimate hardware. We put a lot of focus on software and we underestimate hardware. Do you think that the choice of Tesla to hire locomotion engineers, manipulation engineers, and focus so much on hardware that you know how to do well is a good idea? Or they should focus on motors? Or they should hire material scientists and focus on motors? And the final one, would you want to Tesla? Why not? And how do you feel about making money? Do you think that making money slows you down? Those are some, some very good questions. Why don't I start with the last one, and then you can write me down. Uh, you know, for this new institute, um, we are specifically, as I said before, we're, we're trying to avoid uh, being focused on products. It ha doesn't have so much to do with making money or not making money. It has to do with uh, what the time, I, wanna, I think there's some really hard problems in robotics. Uh, especially having the physical connected to the, uh, the intellectual or the cognitive. And it might take us five, eight, ten years uh, to solve those problems or to make significant progress. And I want to have some of the people in our organization willing to devote a long-term effort like that. And I think when you're working on a product, uh, especially if you're trying to get it to the black, go back to the money thing, um, you, I had a chart, which I decided not to show. It showed some of the work we're doing on Spot, trying to get it up to be 250 hours uh, of mean time to intervention, we're calling it. Intervention means you have to reboot the software, or someone has to go out there and pull it out of the bad place it got, or whatever the, whatever the problem is. And we're trying to get to 250 hours, which is very significant and you know very useful if you get to. And it involves, uh, we have a fleet of robots that are operating every day, traveling, I think, 2,000 kilometers a week and doing a variety of tasks in order to get the tail of the curve of what can go wrong. And I think that's in the way, or could be in the way, of working on the longer term uh, fundamental solutions. And so I think it's important to do that. Uh, you asked me a Tesla question. The Tesla question is, do you have anything to learn from Tesla? To and learn? should they hire hardware engineers or should they focus on motors? Because in order for, for us to make Atlas smaller, we need new motor technology and we don't have it. We cannot make it smaller. It needs to be bulky in order to do all these crazy things. Well, I think Tesla has lots of different skills in their company, right? They have the self-driving people who are presumably are working on software and sensors. So I don't know if you're asking about what they should do, but I think they have a full array of talent, or at least they know that they need a full array of talent. And you know, I, I admire Elon Musk. I, I had a couple of Teslas. I think you know, he's done an unbelievable job in the world of making electric cars. Every car company now is trying to catch up in electric cars. I think his space program. I don't, I'm not that interested in space, but man, it, that guy just revolutionized how space, you know, getting to space works. Uh, it's amazing. So I wouldn't underestimate him. Uh, you know, the first version of his robot's a little clunky, but uh, it's, it's early days. And, uh, you know, the other thing is I think he's doing a service for all of robotics because he's got a big voice uh, and he is saying, uh, robots are a real thing that that uh, are going to become realer, and uh, we're all going to benefit from uh, whatever interest he's able to create, even if we're in competition with, you know, who who is the one who's going to get there first in terms of making useful robots. Thank you so much. Sorry, pretty very fast. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're doing the Okay, please. Thank you, Professor Rivers. Uh, uh